All right, I know this isn't really a costume, but I'm really tired and <laughs> I'm just happy I got all this done. But you know what, Sco Scooby-Doo is the best we're gonna get. And the last episode, I wanna feel comfortable because, <laughs> cause just cause. Now I did have a costume planned for the very last episode, but I'm not gonna do it, unfortunately. But it's okay. I'm just glad I made it through the very end. I'm proud of myself. I've been pacing myself too, so like I haven't been working on these every single day. Like I gave time for myself to rest and then get back to work. But I'm fine everybody, thank you for any concerns. But without further ado, let's get to the very last review of Cooptober. Episode 26, Super Koopa. All right, last episode, guys. I'm going to get kind of emotional here because I worked really hard on these reviews. I started the first week of September, watched all the videos, and finished all the scripts in one week. And the next two weeks after that, I started recording, editing, and finding my costumes for each episode. And I also got some guest stars that joined me. And then a whole bunch of more editing. And now here we are, the final episode of the Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon review. And just like I said in yesterday's episode, I had not fully watched this episode. So let's go. The episode starts off with my favorite boy, Kooky. Yes! He's in the last episode, thank god. He's inventing a new device with assistance of Hip and Hop. And yay! They appear in the last episode too! The device Kooky created will help King Daddy get the same superpowers the Mario Bros have. The only caveat is that the pendant only works in the real world. And it shows the Mario gang hanging out and Luigi gets kidnapped by King Daddy. Oh yeah, there's more shipping fuel for King Daddy and Luigi. You guys think it just happened in the Mario movie? Oh, hell no! Mario and the princess follows them and princess makes Toad stay behind. Good. At first I thought it was kind of stupid that he stayed behind, but also a relief that we don't have to deal with him for the very last episode that much. But we'll get back to this later. It's revealed that today's location in the real world is France. King Daddy then puts down Luigi and kicks a fire hydrant, revealing a super leaf coming out. Ah, so you can get powers in the real world. Okay, that's interesting. I redact what I say in the uh, Terra's a time travel episode where I was complaining how did Mario and Luigi get super leaves in the real world when they ta time traveled back there. So, that's, I'm gonna redact that. Kooky's invention is a success. It's also revealed that the Mario Bros can't get powers in the real world. W why not? You guys had them in Terra's, toddler Terra's a time travel. What the hell? I what's stopping you now? Then King Daddy kidnaps the princess on top of the Eiffel Tower. Mario and Luigi somehow end up getting a helicopter and demanding the princess back. King Daddy says yeah yeah to that and swats the copter with his tail making them land in the ocean. We are also introduced to King Daddy's frog suit! King Daddy also gets pissed that he stubbed his toe in the, in the most quickest capture I've seen in cartoon history. King Daddy picks them up, throws them in a jail cell. King Daddy tells his kids that it's time to take over France. Meanwhile, while the Koopalings are causing chaos all over France, Princess somehow sends a message to Toad. And this is why a Toad had to stay behind, to gather up all the superpower stuff that the Mario Bros needed. Is the Princess psychic or something? Whatever. That was the most stupidest plot convenience ever. Just why? This episode is feeding us lies. Back to the bros in the jail cell, it is revealed that they got a birthday visitor, and it's Toad dressed up in disguise. He also hid all the superpower stuff in the birthday cake. They end up escaping the prisons and attacking King Daddy. Toad saves the princess, and it just becomes a whole battle of superpower switching. I'm not going to go into detail because there's a lot of switching, but it's pretty entertaining to watch. It's cool seeing King Daddy get drawn as all the superpower costumes too. Final montage starts during this battle to the song My Karubi. And it's pretty catchy, not gonna lie. We then see King Daddy malfunctioning with his powers and ends up falling down the drain and the Koopalings follow. And at the very end of the episode, Toad gets all the credit. All he did was bring the powers. It was a team effort. Shut the hell up. Most of the work was done by Mario and Luigi. Stop giving this little bitch false credit. You guys are gonna keep inflating the ego of this little mushroom bitch. Well, since we're at the very end of Kooptober, I want to talk about something we haven't discussed at all yet. And that is the opening and closing of the show. I think the opening is really cool because it's not like a theme song or anything. It's more of like a narration of what's going on in the series. It shows, every, er, it shows the Mario Bros in a library hanging out and reading a story of themselves. And then it goes into the story. Everyone thought that King Daddy left the Mushroom Kingdom, but then his doom ship attacked. He introduces his seven kids to the show, and then cause chaos everywhere. It does have music, which is nice, and 
I just like the like this it just gets me ready to watch the show you know and it's just really exciting and we also get the iconic line the it's it's so cute and I I I like shows that have like a narration kind of intro theme to the show so like if you're a new viewer it, it is like an ep or it is a show where you can just jump in at any episode but it's nice to give the viewers what they're what they're in for <laughs> the closing credits the closing credits slash outro i freaking love this that like it's an instrumental so there's no uh narration or singing and it just sounds awesome i don't know if it's a remix of any of the mario songs but like it sounds so badass what's kind of a little like a little bit lazy is that they um didn't do like a they used reused animation from the show the first bit of animation is taken from uh, Sneaky Lion, Cheat and Giant Ninja Koopas. And then the rest is uh, clips from the intro that was already used. But other than that, I freaking love this. You can see, like, every time I hear this, I just bop in my seat. <laughs> then you get the good old-fashioned DEEK logo. God, I hate the Deke logo. Uh, Carl made an edit of me doing in the Deke logo. Like, there's a kid in the bed with his dog. Um, he replaced the dog with my cat. And it's just... Oh, that haunts my dreams. <laughs> Closing remarks time. I think this was an amazing ending to this show. It's cool to see King Dad get all these superpowers. And the only complaint I have about this episode is Toad getting all the credit at the end. But other than that, I just freaking love that episode. And the final battle was pretty cool, even though it was just King Dad malfunctioning with the powers and going down the drain. And I'm mainly happy because the very last episode we got Kooky. That's all I could ask for. His role wasn't that prominent in the episode, but like he's the reason why the episode happened. And I'm just so happy. Very satisfied of how the show ended. I mean, would I be mad if there was more episodes? absolutely not i'd be super happy but i'm not mad that it's over <laughs> oh my god i don't know how to end this honestly i've been staring at the camera for about five to seven minutes and honestly it's really sad because i enjoyed doing this maybe i'll do something similar in the future for now i don't know it was great talking about a show that i have so much passion about my arm is sore super sore guys look i had to get two shots today but yeah i'm gonna be i'm gonna be really sad after i finish editing this one and huh and cooptober is gonna be over thank you so much for watching and it was just great talking about talking about the show with other mario fans because <laughs> the show I hold near and dear to my heart. It was just fa it was just fascinating going through all the episodes and just talking about them. But yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And this re this review of Cooptober is officially over. You thought I forgot. Boom. Frog suit one more time. Goodbye. <laughs>